everybody, it's Crazy Finger Shine. We hope you guys are having an amazing day. So, guys, I'm not going to keep this long. We're going to jump straight into this because finally, it is the most anticipated episode of this whole season. Ahsoka Tano is going to probably be in this episode because, number one, it is directed by Dave Filoni. Number two, it is written by Dave Filoni. And we all know that Ahsoka Tano is literally Dave Filoni's child that he's like looked after through the Star Wars The Clone Wars animated universe and obviously when she's coming to screen he's gonna be the one to bring her to life. I'm so excited. I haven't stopped thinking about this show. I'm so excited so let's just jump straight into it. But before that please remember to like, subscribe and comment if you enjoyed this video but also to keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies and video games. So without further ado let's jump straight into this. Oh dude. What's going on? <gasps> oh my god! Go! Oh, what the honey chilling out? What the frick, man? Oh god, okay, I'm sorry. What the fuck? Dude! Already? Oh, who's that? She looks familiar. The dude already? The double lightsaber? <gasps> What the frick, man? This is so cool already! Hell yeah, my queen! Okay. Damn, she looks good! Oh, Dude, already with the directing, you can already tell that it's Dave Filoni. He has a certain style. And just a kind of, like, contrast as well to what he does in, like, um, animation. It's really good. I'm so proud of him. He used to be so shy about directing, but now he's so proud. So proud of him. He's come so far. Look, I just need to know if I just bring wants to see you. No, I'm scared. That woman may take Baby Yoda, and then she'll contact- Oh, she might contact Gideon. Oh no, I'm really scared. Oh, the vibe is already set. It's like so scary. Oh, oh worrisome. Something big's gonna happen. A Jedi plagues me. I want you to kill her. Damn, so this can be a way of him going to look for a Jedi. Dude, I'm scared. I've got butterflies in my stomach. <gasps> oh! I forgot, I forgot she, he knows his name. I'm guessing they're telepathically communicating, I guess. Oh, what a beautiful shot. Dude, Dave has upped his game in directing. Really good. Grogu and I can feel each other's thoughts. Grogu? Grogu? Yes. That's his name. It's so cute. That's his name. No more baby Yoda. A little baby. Grogu. Jedi Temple on Coruscant. <gasps> Many masters trained him over the years. At the end of the Clone Wars, when the Empire rose to power, Who's information? he was hidden. Someone took him from the temple. Who? Then his memory becomes dark. I've only known one other being like this. A wise Jedi master named Yoda. <laughs> The Jedi Order fell a long time ago. So did the Empire, yet it still hunts him. A lot of memories, a lot of memories. See if they'll listen to you. Oh. Ah, yep. Come on. I knew you could do it. Oh, did such a support of a strong attachment to you. Attachment's not allowed. You cannot train him. What? Oh. Yeah, in the Jedi. I've seen what such feelings can do to a fully trained Jedi Knight. To the best of us. History! I will not start this child down that path. Okay, just before we go any further, god damn guys, there's so many emotions I'm feeling because of just the fact that there is so much stuff coming up from like Star Wars The Clone Wars and all the movie, like, little, like, hints, like, oh! 
Oh, it's so good. Like, it's not even, like, heavy. It's just, like, little mentions of things. And even Grogu, we're going to talk about him at the end, but I just needed a moment just for, oh, because goddamn. Not even your laser swords would be able to protect you from all that fire. Laser swords? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, nice. <gasps> that image. What the hell, man? Oh, oh, this is like a Western showdown, man. This is so good. This gives me such like Clone Wars vibes. It's so good. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell is going on? This is so good. Dude, I'm holding my breath. It hurts. Oh, the hint of the theme. Yes. <laughs> The double light today, but it's so good. Oh, that underlighting. Oh. Oh, it's the tension, man. <laughs> oh, the teasing. I love it. I'm here for it. Give it to me. Oh, yes. That's my man! Woohoo! Where is Grand Admiral Thrawn? <gasps> Admiral Thrawn? Oh. I need to write that down. Fuck! Who's that? I need to remember. Wake up, buddy. It's time to say goodbye. No! You're like a father to him. Go to the planet Tython. Grogu may choose his path. If he reaches out through the Force, there's a chance a Jedi may sense his presence. There aren't many Jedi left. And there are still some dangerous Jedi around. I feel like this isn't the last we see of her. Oh, oh. Din and Grogu. Oh, dude, that was amazing. First of all, kudos to Dave Filoni. That was such an amazing episode. Also, cinematography was on point. This episode, all of it was beautiful from start to finish. Really well done. I'm so proud of Dave because I remember when he did interviews for the first season of Mandalorian, he was saying, like, I was so nervous to do an episode. He did the, I think, I'm pretty sure he did the first ever episode for season one. And he was saying, like, I was so nervous. But, like, the improvement! This episode was amazing. And the writing was really good. I'm so proud of Dave. Good job, Dave! Amazing. So well done. And just, let's... Oh, there's so much to fucking process right now. Good. Well, let's jump into it. Okay, so I just had to go back through the episode real quick at different points just to get a few notes because god damn there's a few things we need to go through because whoo. So first of all we need to talk about Rosaria Dawson as a soaker because okay there goes my pen but fuck it. Um <laughs> dude she was amazing as a soaker like me Mitch and Alex Quick plug, um, if you don't know already, me and the Basden brothers do an Aftermath show where we talk everything about The Mandalorian. You guys can check that out on my channel or at the end of the video. Um, and that's where we, like, you know, it's like a podcast. We break everything down and in every episode that's what we do. And <laughs> we've been talking about the fact that, you know, we've been really worried about, you know, the representation of Ahsoka on screen because it's like, it's always been in cartoon, but... They did a really good job. And even Rosario Dawson as, like, performance, like, the way she stands, the way she talks is like Ahsoka. Very much like the voice actress. I can't remember her name off my heart, but she's amazing. The voice actress who does Ahsoka originally. She does it so beautifully. She doesn't say too much. She doesn't give too much away. She just gets to the point, says it, and... Oh, the fighting, it's so good to see the double lightsaber back. Everything, it just reminded me of, like, her, like, as just a character. And it was like, oh, I'm seeing my childhood again, even though it ended earlier this year. But it's just, like, memories already. And just the way she was speaking, just beautiful job, Rosario Dawson. I really am happy with how, like, that came out. And 
I'm hoping we get to see her again in this season towards either the end or in the next season. Obviously, the confirmed season three. I hope we get to see Ahsoka again. But either way, I really hope we see her again during the next three episodes. We're already halfway, guys. Um, oh, But, dude, we got so much information. So, Baby Yoda is Grogu. Grogu is from Coruscant. He was there when... Everything went down, like all the connection to the movies as well. He was, he was, dude, he was trained by the Jedi. So that means he might have been trained by the man himself, Master Yoda, and even other Jedi that we know. So there's plenty of Jedi that could have come across, um, who, I was about to say Baby Yoda, we have to call him Grogu now. Grogu. Dude, and just, yeah, he was on Coruscant when all this went down, when obviously Anakin arrived, when he was Darth Vader, arrived, and he was going to kill the younglings, but he, but Grogu was hidden away. I wonder who, like, took him away, and specifically who was that? I really want to find out whether, like, um, Grogu's, like, memory comes back, and we find out what happened. I really, 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 really want to find out, because the fact, yeah, just that, just is so big. The fact that he was on Coruscant. There's so many things that happened in Coruscant, and, you know, that's, like, where the Jedi Temple is as well, like, the main one in the capital. Oh my god. Just the oh my my feelings, God. That's just such important information. Like, so he was there when it all went down. He was growing up on Coruscant, so that's a big deal. Oh, I'm really oh, dude. I'm really excited, and I hope we find out more. Also, the details of the lightsaber fights, dude. Oh, it's been a while since we've seen lightsaber fights. To see Ahsoka, like dueling her lightsabers and fighting like oh it's so good and exactly her style too like very stealthy she's always fought like that as well so that just makes me so so happy the way that they've done that and just again Rosaria Dawson really good job really happy with how they did it her makeup and everything's perfect and again the that fight between the magistrate and ahsoka was so dude this whole episode was filled with tension i my stomach was like twisting in knots like this whole time i was so scared so thank you guys so much for watching this i hope you guys enjoyed it please give a like subscribe comment and tell me your thoughts on this episode this massive episode tell me your thoughts because this was huge and Oh, oh, dude, I hope we see more of her. Din and Grogu, oh, dude, the chemistry, like, as, like, father-son sort of thing, it's so beautiful, and even just, like, when, like, Din was, like, encouraging him, like, you can do it, you can take it, like, oh, God, and then even when he was, like, he got really emotional, like, it's time to say goodbye, and he's, like, holding him, and just, like, oh, dude, it's just, like, you, like, he didn't like the kid at the beginning, and now he's just, like, so, like, protective of him. It's just so, like, cute. Oh, I really... Oh, dude, if they... Dude, oh, I'm so scared. This is the thing. Like, we don't know anything that's going to happen. And oh, there's so many things, like, that could go wrong. And also just, like, that they could do to the kid in terms of the Empire if they do get their hands on the baby. Oh, I'm so scared, but... Oh, anyway... I need to stop talking because I need to save stuff for the podcast as well. But oh my god, guys. Amazing episode. I'm already... <laughs> I'm already nervous for the next one. God damn. <laughs> so thank you guys again for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Crazy Fangirl out. Woo!